Offshore drilling is hot button. As the demand for oil rises, the further we have to look to meet this demand. Buying foreign oil, drilling in wildlife refuges, and drilling offshore are some of the things we've had to do to fill this demand. As we have seen in the past, drilling for oil can be detrimental to the environment. Not only spills, but the increased human traffic in this area can be harmful to the environment. Although there are risks, offshore drilling's benefits far exceed the possible risks. The demand for oil has gone way up since the boom of Chinese industry. Since 1983, the amount of barrels per day has increased from 54,000 per day to almost 90,000 barrels per day globally. With this type of demand and the many restrictions put on oil in the oil drilling in the US, we must look for more oil that is often more expensive and these expenses are then passed down to the consumer. In 2011, 60% of crude oil refined in America was imported. In 2011, that number was 45%. With less and less domestic drilling, the more we become dependent on other nations to provide our oil, and some of those are not America's biggest fan. With dependence on foreign oil, we are at the mercy of their prices. 30% of domestic oil comes from the Gulf of Mexico. One pocket of oil found in Colorado holds more than all of OPEC combined. So why then are we paying $4 a gallon for gasoline? Opening up our oil for drilling on land is just as important as offshore. Those that oppose offshore drilling say it's harmful to the environment and we need to wane our dependence off of oil. These claims can be true, but with responsible regulations on big oil, we can reduce the incidence of oil spills. We do need to find alternative fuel sources, but in the meantime, we need more oil until that new fuel source is discovered and implemented. Cutting oil production and making things more expensive for the consumer is not the answer. Find these new fuel sources and make them just as available to the consumer as fuel is at gas stations, and soon the oil will phase itself out. Offshore drilling is just another source where we can get our oil in the meantime. Responsible EPA regulation and regular OSHA inspections can ensure less environmental disasters. Punishing big oil and threatening them isn't the way to go about environmental protection. The government needs to make sure they are doing their part by enforcing these regulations. With these spills that we have seen in the past, some of these oil companies have been warned several times about imminent spills, but the government didn't really do anything to them for their non-compliance in fixing these problems. Shut down the rigs that ignore the regulations and this will ensure oil companies will follow the environmental regulations. Offshore domestic drilling will drop gas prices and ease financial stress on Americans. If we open more domestic drilling, upgrade and build more refineries, we could see gas prices go back below $2 a gallon. We haven't had a new oil refinery built since 1976. With this increased demand, wouldn't it make sense to build a few more refineries to keep up with the demand? One of the biggest expenditures and the American household today is gasoline. On average today, it costs about $75 per tank. All of this talk about new fuel sources is just that, talk. Let's use our oil today while we have it, while we need it. Let's find viable alternative sources and incorporate them over time. We know, we all know times are hard economically. Investing more in our oil and industry and energy industry not only reduces prices for consumers, it also opens up the job market. Responsible and common sense regulations will ensure environmental protections. Offshore drilling is not the devil, it's a necessity.